Unless you're an absolute Sigma male that's completely intent on his grind, you've probably wanted women to chase you at some point in your life. In modern society, it's usually the men that chase women. So, the feeling of being on the other side can really be empowering and fascinating for most men. But it's nearly impossible for men to be on the other side. This is due to a myriad of different reasons, but the most important reason is because men have spoiled women. Yes, I said that. Men have spoiled women. Whenever you see a woman, there's a good chance that there's at least one or two men in her inbox chainlessly simping over her. This constant simping, combined with the fact that most men are taught to treat women like queens, has made them quite used to the attention, and not at all used to giving the same attention in return. But, while it may be hard to make them chase you, it is still possible, provided you know what to do. So, in this video, we're going to be going over 5 points that can get women to chase you. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. Number 1. Confidence. The first, and possibly the most common tip to get women to chase is to be confident. Confident in your abilities and in yourself. The biggest turn off for a woman is a timid, shy man. Sure, there are some women that might like a man like that, but women in general don't like guys with beta male characteristics. The reason for this is more biological than just it being a preference. You see, back in the early days of humanity, Men used to be the ones that did everything in their tribe. They were the hunters, the gatherers, the builders, and pretty much everything you can think of. Because of this, women often picked a male that had the quality of a leader in them. Men that could lead. And the only way a man can become a leader is if he's confident. So, naturally, women are attracted to confident men. It's a biological thing. Just keep in mind that being loud and brash is not equal to being confident. Being confident means that you're comfortable in your own skin, that you're capable of doing what's necessary, and that you won't let others walk over you. A confident man carries himself with certainty and grace. Even the way he speaks is full of clarity. So, before you can focus on the other points, you need to focus on being confident. The easiest way is to just fake it till you make it. Trust me, it works. Anyway, moving on to the next point. Number two, not being desperate. Now this is probably something you've heard before, but a desperate guy is an immediate turn off for women. Though whether it's a bigger turn off than a man with no confidence is a matter of debate. If you're a desperate guy, there's a pretty good chance you're not going to get any woman at all, much less get them to chase you. This is because being desperate communicates that you lack self-respect and confidence in yourself. It also shows that you're not an independent male. If you want to make women chase you, then you need to let go of that desperation. Well, I know that being needy is normal. I mean, we've all been desperate at least once in our lives. But if you truly want women to chase you, you need to fix this. Keep in mind, that a high-value male is the type of man that's completely independent. That is, he doesn't rely on anyone for attention or validation. He knows his own worth and doesn't simp for any woman. He doesn't even care for women that much. He's the type of male that makes women simp for him. How does that work? Well, let's move on to the next point, and everything is going to make sense. Number 3. Zero Care Attitude all right, this is a fact, and it's going to help you with a lot of women. So, the more you care for her, the less she's going to value you. This might seem counterproductive, but it's true. How, you might ask? Well, it's the way society treats women. You see, care and affection aren't exactly new things for a woman. As I mentioned in the start of the video, nearly every woman has at least one or two guys in her inbox showering her with care and attention, treating her like she's a queen. So, if you think that giving her attention and caring for her is going to make her want you, then you're in for a rude surprise, my friend. Now, what you're supposed to do, if you're looking for women to chase you, is to not care at all about them. They're telling you about their day and how Debbie from work annoyed her. It's not your problem. Stop caring. 
When you start having a zero care attitude with women, that's when you're going to set yourself apart from the rest of the men. Granted, you'll have to care at some point if you're looking to spend your life with that particular woman. But if you're looking to settle down, then you're probably not looking for women to chase you. Which means this video isn't for you. If you're truly looking to settle down, then I'll have a new video uploaded soon that's going to focus on helping guys like you figure out whether or not the woman you want to settle down is worth it or not. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, coming back to the topic of the video, let's move on to the fourth point. Number four, get her to be vulnerable. The fourth one is pretty self-explanatory. If you want women to chase you, if you want them to be enchanted by you, then you have to make them vulnerable. This can be as simple as finding an emotional connection with a girl, making her feel like you're the only guy that truly understands her, and then withdrawing nearly completely and not talking to her for days. Doing so will end up making her think that maybe she did something wrong. She's going to crave your attention, and not getting it is only going to make her chase after you more. So that's one thing you can do. Just keep in mind to not take it overboard and break her mind. Number five, be a player and play to win. You need to understand that the dating world is a big game, especially in the Western world. It has its do's and don'ts, as well as some exploits and secrets you can find out. Sure, there aren't any princesses for you to rescue, but there's still a lot you can do here. And just like any game, you can find out its secrets and exploit it to the fullest. If you want women to chase you, then the very first thing you need to do is to realize that the dating scene is a game. After you realize that, you can now begin to play the game. Another thing to note is that a lot of guys tend to play not to lose. What you need to do is to go higher than that. You need to play to win. Remember how I mentioned that you can exploit the game? Well, most of these exploits you'll have to discover yourself, but here's one to get you started. So, you might have read jokes on the internet of how guys started to get more attention from girls after they got into a relationship. Well, turns out, it's actually a real thing. A lot of women tend to be interested in guys in relationships because of the simple fact that because that guy is in a relationship, then that means that there must be something about him that made his girl want him. And you know that humans are extremely attracted to forbidden things, so that's another layer of attraction for a guy that's spoken for. If you're in the market for attention, then you should create this idea that you're already taken. But bear in mind, though you might get more attention, the type of women you'll be getting attention from aren't the type you'd want to spend your life with. They'll be pump and dump type girls. So, that was all for this video. If you guys liked the video, why not like and subscribe? It's sure to help the channel and motivate me to continue doing what I do. If on the other hand, you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments below so that I can improve my mistakes. As always, you've all been fantastic. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.